guys. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to speak with you guys today. Uh, we first saw you guys together in Modern Family, but a couple years later, what was it like now to reunite on this new series? Uh, uh, amazing. <laughs> you liked it? You did like it. Okay, I liked, good. It. I liked it too. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was. I mean, it was honestly, it was the best. I, uh, Sarah and I are friends. I think she's super talented and, uh, I think we have great chemistry with each other. It's nice. We have such a, a shorthand where we can finish each other's burritos. Sandwiches. Oh. Eh? And we oh. both didn't say, yeah, we yeah, both we did didn't say sentences. So. Yeah, we're good like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, Adam, you were in the original Pitch Perfect movies. Sarah, you're sort of new to the whole franchise. So from the perspective of a returning cast member and someone who is new, what do you guys both think that Pitch Perfect fans will like about this new series? Oh, well, I, I know that they're like, I am a fan of the franchise itself. Um, so from my perspective, the, I feel like there are a lot of like Easter eggs within the series from the movies uh, that I recognized. Um, and I think it just like, I think essentially to its core, it's just really about friendship and community and making each other better people and grow for um for your highest self um adam yeah and and to that point i think it's also there's some familiar characters that you know and you love from the movies obviously but uh it's also just a breath of fresh air i'm i'm like it's it obviously will feel like the pitch perfect movies but uh it's in Germany. It feels different. It feels new and fresh. And uh, I think just over the past few years, everything has felt so heavy that it's nice to just to have something that is just unabashedly fun. And that, that's what we try to do with the, with the show. Yeah, I love it. Well, one of my favorite parts about all of the Pitch Perfect movies and now the series are the musical numbers. Um, and there are some great ones in this new series. Do you guys have a personal favorite that you are really excited for audiences to see? One of one of my personal favorites is the uh, Shaggy's "Was It Me" number that Adam and I do. Um, it's a very like kind of jazzy rendition of it, so it's super unexpected. And so while it's hysterical in that regard, um, we're very serious about it. And it's this big dance routine on this. We shot at this really really cool old theater in Berlin. And um, it was amazing for me to be able to kind of like stretch my muscles a little bit into like my old theater days of of singing and dancing. And it was it was so fun. The choreography was amazing. And you're a great dance partner, Adam. Thank you. Uh, and speaking of stretching muscles, I feel like I didn't stretch my muscles enough because I pulled my groin shooting one of the first big dance numbers that we shot. Oh my gosh. Uh, the, the Kings and Queens in the very uh, first episode of the show where we're singing Kings and Queens, we have like the light and glow sticks. Uh, yeah, I kicked my leg up and pulled my groin. So I'm an old man now, but um, <laughs> I feel one of my favorite was uh, we did a Barbie girl, um, Aqua's Barbie girl rendition. And it was super fun and we shot it. It was all in one take and it, I, I think it turned out awesome. It reminded me of like old movie musicals where they could really only do it in one in one shot. And it showed like how talented some of those actors were. I'm not saying I'm that talented, but uh, but it, I think the shot turned out great. Well, all musical numbers. Amazing. I love the series so much. So thank you guys so much for speaking with me today. Thank you, Michael. If all of the kings had the queens on the throne. Bumper Allen. Peter from Da Sound Machine. We You're famous in, in Germany. Germany. Your TikTok has 7.6 million views. It's like a million views. Move to Berlin and work with me. I can make you a star. I'm moving to Germany, baby! Woo! Our new star is here! It's nice to meet you, Bumper. Heidi is amazing. She'll be your assistant, too. Focus up. Yep. You are going to perform at German Uni today. It's like the 4th of July meets a Super Bowl halftime show. Except that we are way cooler about showing nipples here. 
from their elements. Going to try to play at Unity Day? It doesn't have the range. I can go from hill to I just think that you know, so I'm amazing. The proper performance is hard, even for the most seasoned performers. Don't worry, I work better under pressure. What's up, Berlin? Uh, I'm out of here! Nope! 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 I've wanted to be famous my entire life. I thought Berlin was gonna change everything. It still could. When they don't know my name. If you don't take a risk, you don't grow. Don't Somebody get the mask because Bumper's song is a banger. What if we turn this into a riff off? <laughs> you Americans, you are obsessed with your riff off. Riff off. Riff off. Riff off. You said riff off, I said riff off. Okay. I'm not like a corny acapella guy. I'm cool, right? Right? Right?